Welcome back. 33 years ago, Rodney Tahu was shot outside the Turangi police station, a petrol station rather, where he worked. This was no whodunit. Within 24 hours, police had their man. Menzies Hallett had made an extraordinary confession to his estranged wife, telling her he'd shot the young father in a fit of rage. Hallett was arrested, but because of the law at the time, the court couldn't hear her evidence and Hallett went free. One of the policemen who worked on the original case is retired detective Rex Hawkins. He joins me now from Taupo. Good morning, Mr Hawkins. Thank you for joining us uh, Good morning. morning. My pleasure. How has this case affected you over the years, given that you always knew who had carried out this murder, but you could do nothing about it? Well, I think the word is frustrated, as were the other detectives, but especially those that uh, still lived in Taupo and for several months um, had to face this man in town on, on the odd occasion. He chose to adopt a quite arrogant attitude of staying in town. He was a very confident person who um, would look you in the eye and smile and uh, walk past. But uh, it wasn't easy. Did you have to tell Rodney Tahu's family that in essence that was it? There was nothing more that could be done? Um, I think they, they always knew, as we did, that, that it wasn't all over, that um, someday the day of reckoning will come, which of course have, has just occurred. It may have taken 33 years, but uh, the result was there. And we've seen this grey-haired man in court through the course of the last couple of weeks, uh, but that's really all we know about him. What was he like as a man? He was a very, he's a very outgoing and confident person who, who um, was a real estate agent in Taupo uh, over that period. He belonged to the Yacht Club. Um, myself and my family were members of the Yacht Club and um, it didn't affect him in any real way. He, he still went there and he took um, ridicule and, and sometimes abuse from people. But as there is in any incident, there were a small portion of people who had faith in him and, and thought that we were doing the wrong thing. You were one of two policemen who arrested uh, Mr Hallett shortly after the murder. What do you remember from that time and, and when you arrested him? How did he react? Yes, well, we actually apprehended him out at, um, on the Napier Taupo Road at a, at a station called Lockenver Station, right in the middle of the North Island. Uh, Detective Sergeant Doug Scott and myself uh, were called out there at about two in the morning after he had uh, arrived back at his house in his car and was followed out to Lock and Ver. Um, I spoke to him for three or four hours on a loud hailer, encouraging him to, to give himself up. Um, but his attitude was uh, very harsh and there was no way that he was going to do that. I told him it was bitterly cold and that it's time to end this ordeal, but uh, he uh, chose not to and told me I could bloody freeze. And I understand um, he was armed at the time, wasn't he? Yes, we were aware that he, he was a gun freak, uh, very keen on firearms, and we were aware that he was in possession of, of a number of firearms. We weren't sure what he had at that time, but um, he, he was parked in an area about 20 metres away from us and um, moving the car around over the paddock, shining his lights over there to see if he was being crept up on. Uh, we at one stage thought that he had left the area, his car lights went off and we came over a small rise and were confronted immediately by him. He uh, ordered us back. We uh, got out of our vehicle, we drew our revolvers, um, there was a shot and uh, the armed defender squad who had been making their way up were able to, to get into the car we had, where he had shot himself across the chest. Um, to, to this day we still don't know whether he was trying to shoot us or whether he was trying to commit suicide or whether the, it was an accident. You were in court for some of the case. Did you ever make eye yes. contact with him? Oh yes, he was um, happy enough to turn around and smile at uh, me almost every day. Just remarkable. You're, you're very well known in uh, Taupo. You've lived there for a long time. What's been the reaction in the town to this verdict? 
I, I think that it's made a lot of people happy. Um, ev everybody knew the, 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 the basics of the case and there's been a lot of relief from, through a lot of people. There are a lot of people happy about this and I've had phone calls uh, from, from England, um, all around New Zealand. Now, I understand there was a tweet from West Africa yesterday. I don't know how that occurred. Good result for the police too, as well, Mr Hawkins. A absolutely, and I, I think that it, it, what it's come to mind to me in this incident or this murder is that I know of two or three other cases in our area, and I'm sure there are dozens over the country, uh, which people know who the offenders are people who, who have had admissions made to them. We saw in this case that there were two people who came forward later on who, who Hallett admitted this to. Now there must be other cases. I can think of Mona Blades, uh, Milton Channing in this area um, and others and I'm sure there are dozens over the country. I just hope that there are some people that watch this program that, that, that react to that and come forward. You hope that it will lead to the solving of other cold cases? Mr Hawkins. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, thank you for your time this morning. Rex Hawkins, the retired detective who worked on the Rodney Tahu case. Appreciate your time this morning. Thank you.